Good morning and good afternoon and welcome to Kroll's 15th Annual Global Alternative Investments Conference. I'm Sharon Davis and I'm a Managing Director in the Valuations Advisory Practice at Kroll and your moderator for today's event. I, along with the rest of my colleagues at Kroll, am pleased to have you join us today and we look forward to engaging you in meaningful discussions around significant developments impacting the alternative investment community. We hope that everyone is staying safe and healthy given the unprecedented global events caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. As our clients and employees' health is the primary concern for us, we have decided to hold our conference as a virtual event for the second year running. For those who are not fully familiar with Kroll, we are the world's premier provider of services and digital products related to valuation, governance, risk and transparency, and we work with clients across diverse sectors in the areas of valuation, expert services, investigations, cybersecurity, corporate finance, restructuring, legal and business solutions, data analytics, and regulatory compliance. The firm's nearly 5,000 professionals are located in 30 countries and territories around the world, and we have a global participation for you here today. There are a few housekeeping items before we get started. We have created an interactive and user-friendly platform that will give you easy access to the panels and discussions that we have planned for you this afternoon. For the best possible viewing experience, enlarge your media player to full screen when viewing the sessions. I encourage you to submit questions um, to our speakers. You can submit these questions electronically through the console Q&A widget within each individual session. If we don't have a chance to answer every question, then we will, of course, follow up with you directly after the event. You'll find resources available for each of the topics directly on each console, along with the speaker details for that session. And once the session ends, please remember to click back through to the lobby page in order to access the next session. We are recording the event today, and so uh, these will be posted on our website following the event. The final session for today, which is our global alternative asset outlook and valuation update, will be eligible for continuing professional education credit. In order to meet these CPE requirements, you must view the entire session and answer the polling questions that will be provided. Additional content will be posted during the event on the official Pearl social media feeds. And we encourage you to join the conversation during and after the conference by tweeting using hashtag Kroll AIC. Now, to kick off our conference, I would like to invite you to listen to the opening remarks of Jake Silverman, our CEO. Over to you, Jake. Thanks, Sharon. Good morning and good afternoon, and welcome to the Kroll Alternative Investments Virtual Conference. While this is our second year convening virtually, it's actually our 15th year of hosting this great event. We hope to be back in person soon, but until then, we thank you, our clients and friends, for your partnership and trust and for joining us today from across the globe. And today we have no shortage of topics to discuss. Chief among them is what the world of alternatives will look like post-COVID as vaccination rates continue to rise across the world and case counts hopefully continue to decline. Fundraising for our alternative investment funds continues at a record pace. As the global public health and economic recovery continues, institutional investors, investment managers, and advisors are looking to a future where alternative funds may find their way into more liquid mutual fund-like structures requiring more timely and more frequent valuation, potentially even daily. In the near term, increased demand has a global economy running hot. Supply chains have been disrupted. Energy prices and inflation are up. And many central bankers expect inflationary pressure will persist into 2022. As a result, alternatives may continue to be attractive as a hedge in markets where the value of fiat currencies, the dollar, the yen, the pound, are increasingly in flux. And the impact of decentralized finance, DeFi, and crypto is just beginning to emerge. 
When we last convened, the dust was just beginning to settle on Brexit, a U.S. election that ultimately brought a new president and a new Congress, and unrest in various parts of the globe. We've already seen tangible impacts from governments around the globe in fighting COVID-19 and, in many cases, providing economic stimulus. Globally, the focus on ESG, including in the private markets, continues to increase exponentially. Measuring the impact on investment returns of ESG programs is a key area that our alternative asset practice will be developing. COP26, regulators, LPs, GPs, and public sentiment are hyper-focused on ESG initiatives. In the U.S., specifically, the largest alternatives market in the world, Congress and the White House are now trying to take two major le legislative initiatives across the finish line, a bipartisan infrastructure bill and a broader social spending package. One of the embedded impacts could be an increase in the tax on carried interest. If enacted into law, both will affect a variety of investment opportunities, from traditional and renewable energy commodities to real estate and more. That's not to mention the increased regulatory activity we've seen from the SEC and other government agencies as they respond to headline-topping stories of short squeezes NFTs, and crypto. The implications are vast for both institutional investors and everyday consumers alike. But the brighter spotlight hasn't stopped the robust growth of private funds and alternatives more broadly, and we're excited to dive into what's driving that industry activity throughout the day. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that we are hosting this alternative investment conference under the Kroll name. We are now Kroll. Since Kroll and Duff and Phelps joined forces in 2018, we've steadily integrated our palette of services, bringing together industry-leading expertise to expand valuation offerings. Earlier this year, we held a virtual event highlighting updates on best practices across a dozen Kroll services provided to investors in funds. The role of independent valuation is becoming increasingly crucial. When it comes to our alternative asset advisory practice, our mission is simple, to provide supportable, transparent valuations of alternative investments and complex securities to issuers, investors, and regulators. That is our mission as Kroll. Kroll also welcomed a new president just over a month ago, Shai Weissman, who joined Kroll through our acquisition of Prime Clerk a few years ago. Shai saw our rapid expansion firsthand presiding over our business services division, and his steady hand will keep us focused on exceptional client service. It's that coming together of Duff and Phelps and Kroll under the Kroll brand that facilitates the presence of the highest caliber speakers we'll hear from today, including our colleague Megan Green. Megan recently joined Kroll as our global chief econ economist, and we couldn't be happier to have her on board. Megan will serve Kroll in an advisory capacity, and her tremendous insight will not only inform our clients, but will also boost our internal knowledge base and subject matter expertise. With all of that said, we are thrilled to welcome our first two speakers, Megan Green and HSBC's Global Chief Economist, Janet Henry. Janet has had a storied path at HSBC for over 25 years serving in various economist roles until rising to her current post in 2015. Drawing from that wealth of experience, she'll be giving us a global 30,000-foot view of the alternative asset industry and prospects ahead. So, without further ado, please join me in welcoming Janet and Megan. Thank you all. 